What up guys, welcome back to the vlog. Behind me, I'm getting the paint on the GTR fixed by my friend Mylan from Pristine Detail back home in Minnesota. Um, he flew all the way out here with everything that he needed in order to be able to get this done. And I'm super grateful for that. And we're already in the mix of it, so let's go check it out. If you remember the paint on this thing was looking a little rough after ours day. Um, the track armor left some residue on it, and then uh, my car cover left a bunch of scratches on it. So the idea now is that we're going to get it paint corrected, we're gonna PPF the car, so that way I can put it on the track without any worries about rock chips, and hopefully this will be the end of my uh, black paint nightmare, but not likely. So over here, there was all sorts of residue and marks uh, and I'll put some video from ours day in right here that shows uh, just how uh, the track armor kind of clung to the car in the heat. And then right here, none other than the man himself, Mylon Sleets. Hey, what's going on, you guys? Pristine detail, doing his thing. So we've got a line down the middle here of the new and the old. And while the camera may not be the best at picking this up, uh, I can assure you that this is not super cool. Uh, so you can see there's some weird markings. It almost kind of looks like a leopard print uh, kind of thing on it from the uh, track armor, which did do its job of preventing rock chips, but uh, came off a little bit more harsh than what I initially thought it might. What do you think? Ah, I mean, everything's cool. I mean, for the age of the car, I mean, it's pretty clean. Um, you could tell it had some paint work done. Um, essentially what we're doing is just buffing and polishing the car, trying to get some of the imperfections out. Um, cleaning up the paint a little bit, as you guys will see, we're going to do a little 50-50 split. So you can see the difference from a freshly polished car from a freshly painted, non-paint corrected one, if <laughs> yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I mean, you saw in the earlier vlogs, I was in a big hurry to get this thing done to put it on the track, which meant that uh, we skipped a few steps in beautifying it. It was more of a form over function or function over beauty, if you will, but we're getting the beauty aspect of it knocked out right now. All right, so we're starting on the other half of the hood. Alan's wiping it down, and it looks so much better than it did before. You can see a reflection in it, actually, and it doesn't look like a thousand holograms. <laughs> Um, Alright, so what are you using to do this? <coughs> Show us what you got. Yeah, actually. I mean, so for any detailer, expert, beginner, uh, Meguiar's is always your go-to. Your 105 is usually your heavy cut. They can go with a polish with a 205, and that's kind of how we're getting this finish. So this, I mean, I've used this on anything from SVJ Lambos to R32 Skylines to, I mean, any and everything. So definitely, if you're a beginner or if you're an expert, obviously, you know Meguiar's is kind of the go-to. Um, we did a 105 to kind of give it the cut with a heavy cut pad, went around the whole vehicle, you know, got most of the imperfections out, some of the holograms that were already in there, then followed up with some 205 over there with a lighter white pad, which is, you know, pretty soft and went around the whole car and it really gave us some good results. So like I said, uh, you can find this typically at your local store, find it on Amazon, but Meguiar's is definitely something that you should try out. We are starting a new day with uh, none other than Mr. Mylon Sleets himself. Oh and today, <clears throat> We're doing some PPF work, and by we, I mean Mylan. And this is what Mylan does over at Pristine Detail. Yeah, so we do a lot of paint protection film. Today what we're doing is just, uh, we got done with the paint correction yesterday. So we're just putting on um, some Expel paint protection film on the heavy kind of impact areas, which are the fenders, rear quarter panels, hood. Um, we're just gonna lay that on. So when you're doing any kind of track events or just daily driving, that paint's protected. Uh, this film is actually about eight mils thick, so it's gonna give you some pretty decent protection. Um, if it does incur any scratches or anything like that, you literally can just heat it out with the heat gun and disappear, and it kind of keeps the car looking nice. These films typically have an eight year warranty, so new, used, whatever vehicle you have, paint protection film's always a good investment. Especially for the track. So all oh, yeah, my Minnesotans <laughs> out there watching, getting ready for Proving's Grounds, uh, I think that's going on fall. now, isn't it? Well, the first one is right now, but yeah, everyone else getting ready for this fall. Um, 
not a bad idea to swing by Christine and get some PPF on your car so you don't rock chip the hell out of your paint before you take it to all your end of the year car shows. So we got the first fender done, and I keep saying we, but by we I mean Marlon has it's the first fender done. <laughs> but you can't even tell it's on there. It looks so good, and it's going to save me, save my paint at all of the future track days to come. I just got to do the rest of it. Right, we are on to the other side. You can see this is one large sheet that gets done in bulk across the front fender here. Lots of modern cars have uh, templates already in the system. So if you have a plotter like Milan has back in Minneapolis, you can plot a lot of this stuff out and it is a nice, perfect fit. However, on the Skyline GTRs, those templates are not in the system. So all of this gets done by hand and cut by hand in bulk which is skill entirely of its own. All right, so Mylan's getting ready to do the hood, which is a one giant 60 inch piece um, that just lays over the whole thing. As you can see he's prepping the surface right now. And uh, as soon as that is on, put it all down just like you did on the fenders and trim it by hand to fit the R32 hood. Just perfect. My stomach itches as well. That's okay. Um, I'm like, yeah, sorry. Lack of understanding of how hard I need to hold this. Alright. So this is what? It's baby. Just baby, baby soap and uh, baby soap and, and water, water. Distilled water yeah. and distilled water. And usually with with an install like this, I would have like a tank or something, so I don't have to you know, go crazy uh -huh. with my hands. But yeah, I mean, so Mylan does have a whole shop uh, I'll pull that back. where this is a lot easier to do. Uh, but this is like a on the fly. Literally flew out here to do this with what we got here. Uh, so it is uh, half the tools, but still 100% of the talent. All right, add this to the long list of late nights working on this uh, thing, but Violin? Yeah. Oh yeah, Done. Just, yeah just finished some paint Finish protection film, some you know. Things here. Uh, got the high impact areas and stuff, so it should be ready for track. You yeah, know so what, what are the high impact areas? Typically it's gonna be your front end, so hood, front bumper, headlights, um, sometimes mirror your rockers, and then the quarter panels, really depending, I mean, if your vehicle's rear wheel drive, the kind of tires you uh, have on, well, those things kind of matter in, uh, in this case. So this is all wheel drive, and of course it's dark in here because it's late, but um, all wheel drive, so really, uh, especially on sticky tires, it's gonna fling stuff everywhere. I know people hate following me on the street because the tires just throw things all over the place. And as much as I uh, have all of these extra guards on here and spats to keep that from going, uh, it's still gonna fly everywhere. So uh, the focus on this was really making sure that those high impact areas are good to go and you said this is a thicker film yeah so you have um eight mil um film and you have 10 mil 10 mil is usually for like track events and this is going to be your 10 mil film nice. i'm a little thicker it doesn't look as pretty sometimes some people say there's orange peel in it but like i said the whole purpose of this is really to give it some protection while you're at the track right that's the whole idea is to keep it looking clean enough to be presentable uh and have it be my car where there's some level of expectation that the thing doesn't look all clapped out but also still eliminate any of the fear I have of messing this thing up while I'm just ripping it, uh, either it's in the canyons or on the track. Want to really be able to drive it without any fear of damaging the paint. So it looks super good and uh, I know it's dark now, but uh, you really can't see it anyhow. So the high impact areas, again, the hood, the fenders, the rear quarters, rear spats, um, all things that we are making sure that we put extra protection on with a thicker film. Laguna Seca, 
next kind of thing that we're doing here is getting this ready for that. So uh, this is all part of it, making sure that this car stays protected while I'm on the track. Big shout out to Mylan at Pristine Detail uh, for coming through with the Expel and eventually the Ceramic Pro. So I will put links to all of his stuff in this video as well as on my show, so why not post it? We will see you guys in the next one.